Hi y'all, it's me. I'm here as part of the Wild Bunch design team on behalf of Wild Orchid Crafts to share with you a project for this month. Um, for those who don't know, Wild Orchid Crafts carries beautiful flowers, mulberry paper and others, so please check them out. They have embellishments and trims, they have pearls, they have metal, they have just all kinds of good things. So I'll put that link down below for you um, so that you're able to visit and shop there. Their site is really easy to na navigate and their shipping is good. Everything's really good. So go check them out. Um, I'm also going to say that this will be probably my last project for Wild Orchid Crafts as my term has come to an end. I am really sad because I really loved being a part of this design team. Thank you, Paul, Siri, Natasha, and the rest of you design team ladies who were fun to work with and create with. Um, the products are spectacular and I've just loved them and um, definitely will always remember this opportunity. So thank you very much. And let me go ahead and get started before I break into tears. <laughs> uh, it's always hard to say goodbye. But um, anyhow, if I have a chance, I'll try and get another project in before this weekend. If not, um, thank you. You know, it was great. So let me show you what I used in the making of this project. These are Ivory Wild Roses. You can see the numbers there. I used the White Foundation Blooms. Beautiful. The Two-Tone Aqua Wild Roses. The mixed pink and white small curly wild roses. Lovely. These are stunning right here. They all are, but wow. The mixed two tone roses. The white and cream carnation flowers. The white sweetheart blossoms. Deep Ivory Cherry Blossoms, the Pale Pink Hip Rosebuds, love those, the Heather Stem, these are beautiful, I love working with these, the Flatback Pearl in 4mm Ivory, beautiful. These bead sprays, which uh, the number here would be MKX624, lovely. And last but not least, I used the self-adhesive rhinestones in aqua. Love these, beautiful color. So without further ado, I was going to make something that I could hang up in my new scrap room. As you know, I move, so I'm anxious to just kind of make this place my own for a little while and um, I decided to do a wall hanging and this is what I've created and um, just so you know uh, it's hard to film this so I'm going to do my best to to get it in there <laughs> get it all close up for you um, but as you can see what I started with on the base of this is this new canvas burlap canvas that Michaels has it makes a great background for projects and you don't have to do the gluing down yourself and worry about the seepage of the glue and all that. So these are perfect. Love them. And uh, the first thing I decided to do was I took a uh, stencil and I stenciled on some um, images here in the corners with the paint that would match the project and the flowers as you can see there. I then added this beautiful, beautiful cluster of wild orchid flowers. There's everything in there that I showed you. Uh, together, alone, they're gorgeous. So I, I couldn't help but just cluster them together and make them look pretty together. Um, you see the sprays there, the heather, the cherry blossoms, and the curly roses, and the regular roses, and the hip roses. And then I used um, diamond dust to add a little sparkle, which I'm sure you can't see right now, but it's there. <laughs> Um, the wood pieces that you see here were purchased at Michael's as well. Um, I used the self-adhesive rhinestones here as well as the little rose there. And then I used them on the, let me turn it this way, sorry. I used them down here at the bottom of the cage as well. 
Uh, the word bliss is my favorite word ever, and that came off of a sticker pack that I've had for a very long time in a soft pink, and then these sets as well, and this little trim here from that same sticker package. This trim uh, is from my stash, and here as well, and I used the flatback pearls from Wild Orchid Crafts down along the edge there just to give it some decorative trim. Um, here I added some seam binding and some bows to finalize the hanging of this project. So there you go. There's my little wall hanging. Um, as I said, I really have enjoyed being a part of this team. I love Wild Orchid products to pieces. Um, so continue to shop there. Continue to support the other design team members and the new people that come on board. Um, I'm sure they'll use, they could use all your support and um, Wild Orchid Crafts would love to have you as a customer. So thank you so much. I'll talk to you all next time. Bye for now.